Sitting muskrat traps. I found this nice beaver run. You can't see it now because I walked through it, but there's a channel that runs all along here, and the muskrat's been put in there. Runs right into it because it's the deepest spot in this uh, swamp. Well, I come across this log right here, and it's pretty deep right here, knee deep. You go out here, and you know, four inches up here. It's really deep right here, so just, you can tell that he crosses this log, but it's so deep that I'm, I'm assuming he dives under it. Maybe when we get a layer of ice or something, he just swims right under here. So I'm gonna put a 330. Too good of a spot to pass up. Maybe I'll stick a 330 in here and see what happens. Had a, quite a few beaver out of here last year. Find that deepest spot. There. Find your springs. One more stick. Just want to make sure that the there's one more check to make sure the safeties are off. Keep your hand away from the trigger. Well, that's it. There might be a chance that that beaver might grab that, but. All right, stay tuned. Welcome back. I just showed you that log where I put the 330 going underneath. I went a little bit farther and I just found where they're storing all their wood for winter. I'm guessing they must have a, I haven't got in here and looked at this. None of this was here last year. I can see a muskrat hut. So the muskrats are kind of dwelling with the beavers. So we'll get in here and poke around. There should be a den over here, I'm guessing the main den, but I can see where they go this way and they're going right here so stay tuned I'll find some spots and we got a couple more 330s with me stay tuned right, welcome back everybody found a den I trapped a few otters out of last year and a few beaver and it's, it looks like it's still active so Put a 330 in here. Get my sticks lined up here. Next week it's supposed to get cold, so I'm expecting ice. It's gonna make these runs a lot better once it get some ice on here.
simple as that. I throw one more stick in here. And down here there's another area where the beavers hang out. They got a nice catch of food. That's where I trapped them last year. Stay tuned. I'll show you the next set. Back everybody. I got a few caster mounds along here that I'm setting. I just set one down there using a version number five on an eight inch drowner or eight foot drowner rod. And I'm gonna set one right here. Across the swamp here, that's where I showed you I put in the 330. They got a nice feed catch over there, and for some reason they threw all these caster mount sets up. I kind of got a feeling a new beaver's moved in because I didn't have any beaver in this area last year. About 300 yards that way, I had caught a quite a few beaver. So I'm guessing I might have two families here in this while these caster mounds are here kind of warning each other but I'll set this and show you And here I'm using a TS-85. I just bought it. It's a big trap. So far I like it. And this will be the first time using it, so time to start catching some fur, I guess. Look you how know, big this thing is, gosh dang. I really like that. He's already got his runs coming up here, so I'm just gonna put it right here in this run. You gonna come in and check check this out and should catch him. has been here. That's that. If he comes along and checks his master mounts, maybe we'll have one in the morning. Alright. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Welcome back everybody. Yesterday I set a caster mound. The beavers had already made it, so I just slicked it up and do a little bit of bait on it and today I got a beaver pretty big beaver too
rod out of here. Good sized beaver. a good one. All right, stay tuned. I got a few more beaver sets to check. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, welcome back. <clears throat> Yesterday I made a few sets of beaver sets down there the Castor Mounds, which I showed you uh, catching one of them today. My 330 was empty down there, but I came here and got my second beaver of the day on the 330. Straight down this canal here is the pumps, a couple hundred yards that they use for the drainage just is to control the water level here. So they don't want these beaver in here. They keep putting their food caches across here and it slows the water flow. It's not a monster, but it's one less beaver in here. Not a bad beaver.
put my diving sticks through the springs and just a little bit through the jaws. That's the way she looked yesterday. I've actually caught two otter out of this last year, so there's a good chance I might get an otter. All right, I'll move on. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.